Hey, this is Mark with Mountain Venture, and today we're going to talk about glove systems. Over the years, I've tried all kinds of different glove systems and just trying to figure out what works for what season, what application, what do I like, what do I do not like. And based upon all these preferences, I've come down to three pair of gloves that fit all of my needs all year long. Let me start with my favorite pair that I, that I carry with me uh, every single trip, whether it's in the summertime, the fall, shoulder, or spring, the shoulder seasons, or in the dead of winter, I have these gloves on my person and I wear them every single time I go out. And that is the Defeat Knit Glove. And I've had these gloves for more than 10 years and they really look uh, fairly new even though I wear them every season all year long they just are a great durable glove they're not very expensive and here let me tell you why I like them so much first of all uh, they fit really well and give you lots of uh, dexterity dexterity is important because um, I'm operating my cameras all the time in the backcountry and I need to be able to um, touch buttons uh, and so on and, and be able to operate my cameras while having gloves on in the cool uh, mornings or in the winter time. So these gloves work great. They're also breathable and they have a nice um, textured palm, this rubberized textured palm that helps with uh, gripping and uh, that, that hasn't peeled off or shown really any signs of wear. Now these are an old pair of gloves, but the newer ones also have uh, the, the tips of the first two fingers that enable you to do a touch screen. Um, so they're great for smartphones or cameras that uh, have that feature. Now in the shoulder seasons, uh, in the fall when I'm hunting or in the spring, when the, when the weather's cooler, I'll go to a, uh, another glove. This is a sit, made by Sitka and it's a windstopper glove. And I'll wear this glove uh, of course, when the weather's cooler and in windy conditions, and this is also a water resistant glove. It has a water repellent finish on it, though they're not waterproof. And this is actually a fairly warm glove and it has good um, dexterity in the palm or grip in the palm and uh, certainly windproof. And it just, it's a nice next layer to have when uh, the temperature gets down into the 30s uh, when you're in, in less active situations. My defeat gloves I'll wear uh, down into the 30s, into the 20s if I'm active. They're really great gloves. These, when I'm less active or the weather's cooler, I'll go to my Sitka windproof gloves and they're a nice shoulder season glove. In the winter time, when the temperatures are getting down into the teens and lower, I have a, a more of a winter type glove. I don't know the brand name of this glove. Um, I don't think it's, I think it's fairly a generic uh, brand, but it's just, it, I used to wear this when I was snowboarding. It has a built-in uh, fleece liner, and these are uh, quite a bit warmer, and they are waterproof, uh, which is great for snow. And, but the downside of these gloves is that there is no dexterity at all. I cannot operate my camera with these gloves on. I always have to pull them off. And so uh, by nature, I'm having to always bear my uh, bare hand in the coldest of the elements when I'm trying to operate my camera. Because the liner on these, I'll show you, even if I were to pull them out, are not made to be really worn outside of the glove. The, the seams are on the outside of the fingers and uh, it's, it's loose, which is nice for warmth because it traps warm air, but uh, they doesn't offer you a, a lot more dexterity uh, in the glove and they get caught in things uh, because of the, the loose nature. And so I generally don't wear these um, outside of the glove. I don't wear the liner outside. But you can, it's nice you can remove them because this, that makes this just a shell. Um, you can wear that without the liner and you can wear it in a higher range, broader range of temperatures. And then I can take my Defeat uh, knit glove, which I invariably will have with me. And oftentimes I'll just use that as the liner. And I put that in this winter glove and accomplishes uh, pretty much the same purpose as my other liner. And, but when I take it out, 
I have a, a much more form-fitting glove that I can operate my cameras with. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope this video was helpful to you as you are thinking about uh, how to keep your hands warm in the various seasons of the year. And hit like and subscribe uh, if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you out there sometime soon on the trail.